So the first thing that I would do on this problem is I would simplify the inside of the parentheses first, but that's just a matter of preference. If you were not uh, simplifying the inside of the parentheses, you'd be looking to distribute this negative 3 into all of the, well, all of the values inside the parentheses, which just may mean that you need to see a 1 with the 2 and the 3 right there. I don't know. Again, that's kind of up to you. But I'm doing the inside of the parentheses, so what this means is that uh, the 2 and the 3 can simplify, but if I look at the m's right here, I've got m to the power of 5 over m to the power of negative 2, which is the same as m to the power of 5 minus negative 2. Oh, that's supposed to be 2. Well, that would be m to the power of 5 plus 2 which would give us m to the power of 7. And that would go in the numerator because it's not a negative value. Then, <clears throat> right here I've got the n's, and I've got an n to the power of negative 2, and that would be minus this 2 from the denominator, which would give me n to the power of negative 4. Now, if I wanted to keep that exponent positive, I would just put n in the denominator like this. Now it is positive. All right, now I'll, I'll distribute the negative 3. It just The only difference for this is I'm distributing that negative 3 to less terms rather than more terms, which I think makes it a little bit easier. So this negative 3, I'm only distributing it to the exponents, not to the bases. So if this means I've got 2. It was to the power of 1 but now it's going to be multiplied by the negative 3. Then I had m to the power of 7, but we're going to multiply that by negative 3. And this was all over 3, which was to the power of 1, times a negative 3. And then we had n to the power of 4, but now it is multiplied by negative 3. Now, I'm just going to multiply those, so I would have 2 to the power of 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And I've got m. 7 times uh, negative 3 is negative 21. All over 3. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And then I got n to the power of 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Now, we, we kind of get intimidated by these because they all have negative exponents, which is what we don't want. And it kind of goes back to what we could have done in the beginning, which I guess I'll show you after this now. But if I wanted to make all of these negatives be positive, the exponents, all I'm going to do is reciprocate each one of these. So this would now be 2 to the power of now a positive 3, and m is to the power of 21. But notice... These two were in the numerator, but now they're in the denominator now, which is what makes the exponent become positive. Same with the denominator. I'm just going to move those into the numerator, the 3 and the n. But now the powers change to positive values 3 and 12. And then we can find 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. Yeah, sure, 27. And 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And I don't think we can simplify that. So that should be our final answer there. So another trick would have been at the beginning is when we had this 2m to the power of 5, n to the power of negative 2, over 3, m to the power of negative 2, n squared. See, this was to the negative third power. Let's say that I wanted that Instead of to be negative 3, a positive 3, just the exponent on the outside of the parentheses, then I would have just flipped the fraction. Now, it, it didn't make um, the exponents on the inside of the parentheses positive. It only changed that exponent of 3 here, the, at the, well, negative 3 right there, into a positive 3. That's just another way to look at it. It's not required that you do it that way, just it is an option.